So it was last summer that everything changed completely, particularly in the business we're in, the news business. And all of a sudden, coverage in this country started to resemble a game of Mad Libs. Remember that? Remember that game? You could pick a noun, any noun, and someone on national television would be denouncing that noun as racist. Punctuality? Racist. Ice cream trucks? Super racist. Shakespeare? White supremacy? At one point, it got so crazy that the feds told ABC News that national parks were somehow racist. The National Park Service says the persistent whiteness of its 419 parks is an existential crisis. The American wilderness, a playground for old and for young, and overwhelmingly white. When you look around, you don't see people that you identify with. You don't feel welcome. You feel out of place. You feel literally like you are an outsider. So here's the game, here's how it's played. Those sound like complaints, oh poor me, but they're not complaints, they're attacks. Yes they are, and they're continuing. In fact, they've accelerated. The Washington Post has now decided, and this is a real headline, in fact, it's only Monday, but we're starting with the most amazing story of the year. Here's the quote. The racist legacy many birds carry, birds like, avian, animals that fly. The Post included a sketch of an innocent looking Jameson's fire finch. Now that bird might look red, but deep down the Washington Post tells us it's white, as in white supremacist. Of course, bird bigotry is, needless to say, systemic. So according to the Washington Post, other avian oppressors include the Bachman Sparrow, the Wallace's Fruit Dove, and the Autobahn's Warbler, the Warbler. Now the warbler is named, that one is named after John James Autobahn, the guy who literally wrote the book on bird watching. He's of course been canceled because he was impressive. He thought about things other than himself. He observed the natural world and wrote and painted it. But that doesn't go far enough, just canceling Autobahn. You can do more than that because as Ibrahim X. Kendi taught us, it's not enough to simply oppose bird racism. We must become actively anti-bird. We must defund and dismantle all sips of systems of bird supremacy immediately or else we're implicated in those systems. We need to decolonize every bird's nest until we do the work, bird racism as the high ground. It's literally dumping on us, not just on our institutions, our windshields. And it's not coming off. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.